Well, there were five battles fought in the area of Ypres. Um, the, um, the, in particular, because um, it is a strategic location uh, on the battlefield, a blocking place, if you will, between uh, the aims of the, uh, the German army at the time and uh, the uh, Allies defending uh, northern France. And there was a salient that was created, or an arrow of ground, into the German lines. Um, the Second Battle of Ypres uh, uh, was the first time that Canadian troops were blooded in action in the First World War, where, uh, in fact, the, uh, the very first uh, large-scale use of gas uh, by the Germans inflicted uh, you know, horrendous casualties at that time on not only the Canadians but on French troops and British troops. Uh, the Canadians held their ground during the Second Battle of Ypres and repulsed uh, uh, um, attack after attack by the Germans, and uh, the casualties were extremely high. Uh, many of those 6,920 uh, men who have no known graves in Belgium uh, lost their lives during the Second Battle of Ypres and during the Third Battle of Passchendaele. Uh, and thousands more, of course, were, were wounded in action. The Menin Gate is the gate in Ypres, which is one of the largest cities in that area, that commemorates all the soldiers that fought in World War I that do not have a grave or a tomb, because we have a number of cemeteries around that area that are still maintained by different regiments. Uh, but the Menin Gate has all the names there because we did not want to forget a single soldier that lost their life. The Menin Gate is actually uh, a symbol that uh, commemorates uh, the missing soldiers of the British Commonwealth. And it's a very visible symbol in Ypres. It's a big gate and has the name of over 60,000 missing soldiers uh, engraved on the gate. Um, it's virtually in the center of town. Um, it's right on the Menin Road and marks the spot for the main entry, uh, the historic main entry to the city of Ypres from centuries ago. It was built in 1927 and uh, when it was inaugurated in 1928 by uh, Field Marshal Lord Plummer, as part of his remarks, uh, he said, and I'm quoting, uh, they are not missing, they are here. And he was referring to the 55,000 names of British Empire soldiers, including the 6,920 6, names of Canadians um, whose names are emblazoned on the Menin Gate, uh, who lie in Flanders fields. And as we know, as history progresses, as uh, people age, as the soldiers of the First World War, the veterans die, uh, it's very important to preserve the memories. And the gate is actually a symbol uh, that commemorates uh, the events around First World War and uh, commemorates uh, the missing soldiers. And it really keeps the memory alive because it's very much a structure that is very much visible. It is a, po a focal point for those who want to remember those soldiers, for those families who had nothing uh, of left of their loved ones, to be able to come to that spot in Europe and stand at the Menin Gate and feel as if they were close to their son uh, or their father or whoever had uh, lost their lives and had no known grave in Belgium. It shows that history is alive, that we will not forget and we cannot forget what happened and uh, the memory will continue. The 30,000th time that that was played um, was just uh, recently. Um, and at the same time that that occurred, we put together a small group of um, cadets um, who had been uh, part of the Royal Nova Scotia International Tattoo, dressed in the uniform of the Halifax Rifles, play the last post at 3 p.m. here in the afternoon, which would have been exactly the same time that the 30,000th playing would have taken place at Ypres um, by the fire brigade. The, um, the only time that the uh, last post has not been played at the Menin Gate was during the time in the Second World War when Belgium was occupied by the Germans. And even then, the ceremony was still conducted in England uh, until such time as Belgium was liberated. And then immediately thereafter, the uh, fire brigade started up its uh, daily commemorative uh, playing of the last post. Uh, that is a significant um, act of remembrance, uh, one that the Belgian people uh, feel very strongly about. And having just returned uh, from Belgium and visiting the Menin Gate a couple of months ago, I can assure you that uh, the people of Belgium very much appreciate the sacrifice that other countries made 
to ensure that they enjoy the freedoms that they have today.